Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we're going to be doing some fun art for math. We're going to be dividing squares into four pieces or fourths and we're going to be coloring by fourths. Well the first thing we need are some supplies. We're going to need a ruler, some scissors, a marker or a pencil, something to color with, and paper. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to make our rectangle paper into a square. In order to make our rectangle into a square, I'm going to fold the top corner all, or fold the corner all the way to the top. I am going to draw along this line. I'm going to use my ruler so that it's nice and straight. I know that I need to hold my ruler down firmly. And now I'm going to cut along that line. Now, do you know what shape this is going to be when I open it? It's a triangle right now, but when I open it, it is going to be a square. It's not a rectangle anymore. I'm going to use this as a template to cut some more so that I have more than one square. Now I have lots of squares that I can work with. We're going to be dividing our squares today into four equal pieces. Well, I already have a line right here, so I am going to use my marker and I am going to draw from one corner to the next corner so that I have divided my square into two pieces or one half. Hmm, this would be one half and this would be one half, one out of the two pieces. But I don't want mine to be two pieces, I want it to be four. So I'm going to draw a line from one side to the other. How many pieces do I have now? One, two, three, four. One of these triangles is one out of the four pieces that we would need to have a whole square. I am going to use my chalk pastels to color this because, oh, they go so quickly. There we go. I have one fourth one out of the four pieces colored. This is one fourth of my square. I wonder if there's another way that I can divide my square into fourths. This time I am going to divide straight up and down instead of at the corners to make sure that my square is absolutely perfect and square. I am going to fold my paper over so that I have a line right in the middle. And now I am going to draw that line with a marker. I'm going to hold my ruler nice and still. Hmm. I now have my square divided into two pieces or one half. But I want my square to be divided into four pieces. Hmm. Four equal pieces. So where else should I draw my line so that I have four equal pieces? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper in half like that and open it up. And now I have a straight line here. I am going to use my ruler and my marker. Hmm. Now I have divided my square into how many pieces? One, two, three three, four. This one square is one fourth or one out of the four pieces of the square. Hmm, I used orange last time. What color should I use? I think red. I like the color red. And I'm going to color one fourth. one out of the one, two, three, four parts of the square are colored. 
Could I color another one? Yes, let's color another one. This is one fourth, I think. I'm also going to color that. I have one fourth plus one fourth of my square colored. Hmm, do you know what? That looks like it's half of my square. One fourth and one fourth is half. That would be because we have one two out of the four pieces colored. Now I want you to think for a minute. We have divided our square into four in two different ways this way on the diagonal and we have divided it by straight up and down lines. Can you think of another way to divide it? I'm going to try another way and maybe you thought of this way. I am going to do a line straight up and down like this. Now my square is divided into one, two pieces and I need to divide both of these halves into two pieces. I am going to do it this way. Fold that right there and fold it right here as well. Now I need to draw some lines so that you can see them. I'm holding my ruler very tightly so that it doesn't wiggle and make a squiggly line. Now I've divided my square into one, two, three, four rectangles. I have divided my square into triangles, into squares, and now I'm doing it in rectangles. This is one out of the four pieces that we need. One, two, three, four. This is one out of the four. I think this time I'm going to use blue and I am going to color one fourth of my square blue. I have colored one out of the four pieces. This shows one fourth and this shows one fourth. Hmm. This one actually has two fourths, one fourth plus one fourth, that equals a half. I hope that you have a chance today to practice dividing squares into four equal pieces. Have fun practicing and coloring. I hope you have a great day class. Bye-bye.